What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nicey Chunga Benny, and I'm here with my co-host, Greg King. What's good, everybody? And you're listening to the Ball Fake Podcast. Now, today we have a quick update for you guys on Leangelo Ball being waived by the Detroit Pistons and possible confirmation of Giannis leaving Milwaukee. Now, if you're new to the channel and enjoy our content, make sure to hit the like button, turn on post notifications, and subscribe. But we're going to start with Leangelo Ball being waived. Greg, what were your thoughts on that? You know what, bro? I'm not surprised. And what I read this morning, when I woke up this morning, I read that he was injured again on that right ankle. So he's been having ankle problems for the last two years, trying to rehab, re- rehab and get back to where he wants to be, which is in, in the in, NBA. And to see that he's having ankle problems again, it's just, I just feel bad for the kid, bro. Like, just everything's going wrong. Everything's going in the wrong direction for him. And when you're trying to, when you, when you get an opportunity like this, you got to be able to, to be on the court. You got to be able to be available. And, right. and him not getting on the court is just, it's just terrible. Yeah. Really. Like, like everyone knows, like he signed a one year non guaranteeing contract with the Pistons. A lot of people don't know this, but Detroit's plan was to waive Jello before the start of the regular season and just exactly. move him, move him down to the G League permanently so he could play with their G League team, the Grand Rapids Drive, and possibly earn a guaranteed contract with them. But, you know, things changed when Jello suffered an ankle injury a few days ago. And honestly, it sucks to see Jello not really get a real opportunity to go on an NBA floor and showcase his talents against NBA players. But since Jello has had a history of suffering ankle injuries, the Pistons didn't want to waste any time waiting for him to recover. And I, I honestly can't blame him. Yeah, me uh, either. But yeah, that that was the that was the one and only reason that they just completely waived him. And once again, they didn't plan to have him play for their NBA roster, but they were going to allow him to play in a few preseason games. Uh, he would have suited up um, last night had it not been for the injury. But yeah, they were they were going to they plan on having him play in a few preseason games. That way he could have the opportunity to prove himself and possibly earn an NBA roster uh, contract with them. That, but exactly. that's a that's a long shot. But with that yeah. being said, if Jello played well in these preseason games and was still waived by the Pistons, he may have gotten an opportunity to play for another organization. Like if if they liked how he looked in the, those preseason outings, like you never know. Like maybe the like I said, maybe if the Pistons would have waived him and someone else would have took notice later on, whenever they had the opportunity to sign yeah. him, maybe they would have done that. Yeah, the best thing for Jello is to make sure you get fully healthy, bro. And then once you get opportunities on the court, if it's G League overseas, because I think he, I think he can make it in the G League. Um, when you get opportunities, bro, just make the most of it. Show that you're a knockdown shooter, no, so that you can hustle and get after it on on defense. So right, it's, yeah, it's, like, the, he's still young, bro. He's only like 21, 20 around that yeah. age. So yeah, but that, long, if you think you know, about it, if you think about it, 21, 22 years old as a rookie, that's actually kind of old nowadays. Yeah. They, they they like drafting guys off potential. Like yeah. When you're 21, 22 years old, like you're kind of a finished product. Yes, you can improve, but you are what you are. So NBA NBA organizations, they don't like that. Why? I don't know, but yeah, that's that. But like I said, I really feel bad for him because the yeah, I too. someone wanting to take a chance on him despite his injury history is very slim, man. But me personally, I don't think this is the end for Jello, and I think he will be picked up in the future by some organization and hopefully make the roster. Now, if this... Now, do I think this will happen immediately this season or even next season? Possibly not. Like, I, I don't think it'll necessarily happen, especially this season. I don't think any team will really want to, you know what I'm saying, mess with, him, mess with him, even though it's just an ankle sprain. But, yeah, like, I do believe that someday some organization is going to be desperate enough to, you know what I'm saying, want to pick up Jello Ball. And honestly, I was kind of, when I first heard the news, I was kind of questionable about the whole thing because it's like. Yeah, I have a question for you. Do you think they did it for clout? I mean, or exposure to their to their team. It may appear that way because y'all remember when the Detroit Pistons were looking to sign J. Cole. I feel like that like that just made me kind of think like, okay, maybe this is just like a publicity stunt. Yeah. But then again, if you think about it, if they were going to put him on a G League team, man, I I don't think that, you know what I'm saying, it really is a publicity stunt. But it kind of does make you make you think about it. Think that way. But I mean, yeah, that's our that's our take on Leangelo Ball situation. Like like we said, we wish you the best, Jello. Yeah. Uh, I, I fans over here, he, man. Yeah, I do. I do believe that he will get another opportunity. But I mean, damn, like he, he's not gonna have too many more opportunities after this. But hopefully, he'll be able to make um, the most of his opportunities, and you know, what I'm saying, suit up for an, a G League team and actually be able to get out there and play on the court. 
But as for our next update, we're going to talk about Giannis a little bit. Now, Giannis Barber posted a pic of him saying goodbye to Giannis yesterday. And now, why, why is this news? Well, it's because Giannis is a, he'll be a free agent next year. Now, with that being said, why would your barber post a pic of him fake crying and saying goodbye to you if he doesn't think that it, if you're not leaving Milwaukee anytime soon? That just had me thinking a little bit like, OK, maybe these this is confirmation of Giannis leaving Milwaukee. Like, what do you think? though, Greg? Uh, like I told you, like in previous episodes, I think Giannis is leaving, bro. I just think his image and the stuff that he brings to the game. And he knows that he's a dominant player and he's a two time MVP. Like he just wants to win, bro. And he knows that he can't win in Milwaukee. So I think he knows that it's time to go, especially with his brother leaving. Which that, I mean, winning a ring, but that doesn't really affect it. It's just like the way people view it, him in the league he wants to win he wants to be a winner and Milwaukee's just not providing that it's okay to leave bro it's okay to leave to go win championships I think if just do you bro do you go 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 win go go do what your goals are which if it's winning then go do that yeah yeah and, and the thing about Giannis is like he's like one of the last superstars outside of those young guys like Jason Tatum and Luka Doncic Devin Booker even He's like the he's the future of the league. So for him to, you know what I'm saying, join a possible super team because really it, the, with the statements that Giannis has made this past couple of uh, weeks and months about like, you know what I'm saying, him not caring if Kevin Durant, LeBron James and uh, you know what I'm saying, somebody like a James Harden. He hasn't said James Harden, but you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, like yeah. a player of that caliber, he wouldn't care if they all uh join the team you know what i'm saying like he, yeah. he he doesn't care about super teams anything and anything of that nature he just wants to win and, yeah. but that, it, it just does kind of seem odd that like like unless your barber is moving which wasn't stated in the instagram profile pic whatsoever not profile pic but instagram post it wasn't stated that his barber was leaving and Giannis, you're locked into milwaukee for another season so i just think that this may be confirmation of him leaving milwaukee now we i as far as what team he'll land on, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I mean, this doesn't even necessarily mean that, you know, Giannis is moving, but I think this is something that we definitely have to take note of. But we'll we'll let y'all discuss that in the comment, in the comment section. If you guys think that if you guys think that Giannis is gonna leave, comment in the comment section where you think he'll go. But uh thank you guys so much for joining us for a quick NBA update. We're gonna start doing more little quick little videos like this, uh, just for you know what I'm saying? Breaking news and things of that nature. Because, you know, we, we're we we're, we're kind of a channel where we like to do montages and everything. You can't always find a montage for breaking news. So, yeah, let us know in the comment section if you guys enjoy these type of videos. We really enjoy the feedback. But outside of that, it's your boy, Nicey Chunga Benny. I'm here with my co-host, Greg King. And we out. We out. <laughs>